Hi guys, welcome to another Swift Star video. Today I'm unboxing some long awaited new parts from Japan. Uh, I've been waiting a long time on this package. Uh, as you can see, I actually opened the box already before, so I'm sorry. This is actually a fake unboxing video, but well, uh, you know how that goes. Uh, you're too excited when uh, the package comes in. Um, either way, I still want to show you uh, what I got in. Uh, so let's dive into it. Um, so, it's a box in a box. Yes. And I don't know if you guys know what uh on racing is but as you can see from the specs this is actually a new steering wheel so uh, the brand is uh, Euron racing or tanida motorsports which is the same um, and i bought a suede um, racing steering wheel and i actually always said that i wouldn't <laughs> because I wanted to keep my hair back, but actually I'm uh, driving around, uh, well, 2000 kilometers a year, which is like uh, next to nothing. Uh, so I thought, what the hell, for these uh, couple of trips that I'm making with this car uh, on a uh, yearly basis, let's, um, let's hope nothing happens and I can uh, keep my front teeth intact. Um, so actually there's two things in here. There is a steering wheel, but there is also a uh, short boss kit, which is what you need to mount the uh, steering wheel uh, on the hub. And there's a lot of companies making this stuff. Uh, I decided to go for the uh, originator of the uh, quick release, which is Works Bell and um, they make a uh, they make two versions of this uh, hub and one of them is the short version so you can see from the sides it's actually a uh, it saves a lot of space and then the reason let me unpack this so there it is and the reason that i'm choosing for the short version is that I want to avoid that my steering wheel is uh, moving too much uh, forward with all the, uh, uh, well, with a uh, hub that is longer, but also I'm planning to, buy, to switch to a, um, a quick release in the future as well. So that adds some uh, um, depth as well, because that will be mounted on here, on this, on the front side. So, uh, yeah, that's why I bought the short one, which is really nice because it's super, uh, it's super short, super cool. Uh, in the box there is uh, not a lot of special stuff. Uh, there is, I think, something to uh, connect your uh, horn to, probably. Uh, I think that's all there is. And there is a some manuals in there. And a lot of uh, safety booklets, probably. Uh, but yeah, that's it. That's it for the short boss kit. There is some hardware in there as well. To mount it nice and black, which is great. Um, and then we have the steering wheel this is the um, i opted for a steering wheel with horn option uh, great for uh, greeting friends <laughs> on uh, the couple of uh, drives that i make uh, each year so i went for the uh, silver one they had a couple of options i like the silver one best because it matches the interior silver a bit of my uh, swift from 2008 and then the most important part here the beautiful steering wheel look at that come on man look at this look at this 
Isn't this beautiful? So it sways. I'm going to... I don't know if you can see it properly, but uh, it's very tightly uh, connected to the steering wheel. So it really feels like a great quality, which is uh, also one of the reasons why I went for this uh, wheel. Um, or one of the reasons to choose for Japanese parts is that in general the quality is is fantastic and, 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 and a lot better than uh, a lot of the European stuff that is being made. Now I must agree that for steering wheels that is not necessarily the case because of course we have Sparco and Momo here in, uh, in Europe and as you can see this steering wheel although I ordered it in Japan it is actually made in Italy and I think that uh, the beautiful people at uh, Juran or Tanida Motorsports chose um, the best of the best as a base for their steering wheel so I am assuming that this is either a Sparco or a Momo wheel which they uh, bought and probably uh, finished themselves with their own type of material but uh, either way it's a beautiful quality um, it has a leather yellow top marking and if you can as you can see it's genuine leather maybe not too popular anymore to say stuff like that but it's i think it's genuine leather here and it feels great um, it is 350 millimeters in diameter uh, there's a lot of wheels that you can buy either in 350 otherwise in uh, 330 I chose 350 because it's closer to the OEM steering wheel the smaller your wheel gets the, the harder it gets to uh, to steer so uh, that's why I chose for this one and I chose one with a medium depth uh, mounting because I just like how this one looks I think it's uh, I think it's beautiful I didn't went for the uh, for the deepest um, uh, dish I think that is around 90 millimeters I think this is 65 uh, so it's um, let's say a size medium depth but I just like the look of this one if you have a flat wheel it has a different uh, look and feel and I just love how this looks it feels fantastic I must say um, so uh, and then obviously with the short boss kit it's going to look a little something like this yeah so that's it and if you look at it from the side you can see that it doesn't add a lot of depth which is great i think by default um the, the oem steering wheel this part is around 11 centimeters this is probably a little bit more but not too much for now uh, it will be more when adding a uh, quick release but well we'll see uh, we'll see what happens uh, then um, yeah I think that's it uh, for now guys I'm super happy with these new parts they feel very very well made as I expected uh, I can't wait to mount them but I need to find some time to do so um, and I will update you guys, update you guys once uh, that is done. But yeah, uh, thanks for watching. Hope you liked the video. If you have any questions, remarks, just let me know in the comments. And if you like this video, just uh, like and maybe even subscribe. Thanks and uh, see you guys in the next one.